so in our helicopter uh, the shooting system uh, we what we do is when we shoot we create or spawn a bullet actor and move it so this is not efficient in terms of performance because we are continuously creating and deleting objects or destroying objects so this is a classic use case of uh, object pooling pattern let me show you an diagram so object pooling pattern means once we create an object and once we are done used in it done using it uh, we keep it in a pool in an in a reusable pool without destroying it in this case after the bullet is moved from the nozzle to the whatever the position it hits after doing that at the moment what i'm doing is destroying that bullet so according to this pattern without destroying it if i keep it in another array or basically a pool uh, and when I again need another bullet, what I need, what I should, what I can do is I can simply get a bullet from the available pool and reuse it. So in that way, we can avoid creating and destroying objects unnecessarily, which is good for performance. So let's see how to implement this in our shooting system so here in this fire machine gun uh, event what i am doing is i spawn actor using the bullet class so like this and then uh, after it's after it moved let me open the bullet class here here after moving is completed i set the lifespan to 0.1 so that is marking to be deleted or destroyed uh, so instead of doing that what i want to do is i want to save this object in the available pool maybe some array Right, so how do we implement that? Here, we have this bullet variable. Uh, let me add a new variable. I'll call it bullet pool and change the object type to bullet and I'll convert that an array okay and now um, here when we call this move tool okay, here let's add uh, another parameter and I'll make it pass by reference I'll call it pool and Similarly, change the type to bullet. This should be an array. Right. Now, here, I'll pass a reference to this bullet pool. So, since I have marked it to pass by reference, the same object will be used here without copy. So, once it uh, reach the destination instead of uh, setting the lifespan to point one here I'll add a delay of let's say point five seconds and then let's uh, add to this pool array which one I should use which is add unique as the reference I'll give itself. so now once the bullet is moved to the uh, desired location it will be added to the bullet pool 
also to prevent further interactions or anything let's hide this bullet once we add it to the pool so again when we call move now we again have to make it visible so for that what we can do is in game set to false right all right now we have the object pool now in the helicopter instead of creating let's convert this part to a macro let's name it get The reason I converted this to a macro is maybe I will have to use this again, but let's, let's see. So here, before creating, oh wait, not a macro, we should have converted this to a function. So let's expand. This and leave this macro. Collapse to function. Get bullet. Okay. Now here, let's first check if we have any bullets, any available bullets in the pool. So we can check the length of this. And if the length is larger than zero, that means we have bullets. if this is false that means we don't have bullets so we don't have any option but to create a bullet so if we have elements we can we can get right so uh, Maybe instead of getting the zeroth element, let's get the final element. Length minus one. So this way it will return the last element. And let's promote this to uh, local variable. I'll call it and bullet and then remove uh, item or index remove index yeah remove the final element from the array so that it is no longer available in the available pool bullet pool then return this temp bullet right now here uh, just for reference let's add an add a debug print line bullet spawn so in time uh, only initially we should see this bullet spawn text and after a while we shouldn't see that if everything is working correctly and here I'll add another string got from home Seems I'm not getting anything from pool. Why is that? Right, it seems for some reason this uh, adding 
to the bullet pool part is not working I'm not exactly sure why um, right then um, let's try something else here uh, graphical damage but let's create another blueprint interface API Set the type bullet. bullet. Right now, let's implement this in here. We'll about that. Let's maybe later on we will need to. Implement shooting for the passenger helicopter, but so anyway, I'll implement bullet pool here and then let's implement add to pool like this if the bullet pool add I do add unit. Let's try a unit and just to make sure if this is working let's print the length of bullet pool and so how to call this particular event so for that here instead of calling using the bullet pool let me remove that Here I'll add another actor reference. Let's call it shooter. Oh, actor object reference. And if this is valid. validity let's call add to pool and as the bullet I give a reference to self right now here I need to remove this and as the shooter, I'll give a reference to this helicopter, which is self. Now let's try. Alright, now it is working, see? So, this one, got from four. Got from four, see? So, now we are getting the bullets from pole instead of spawning we only have to spawn it initial so let me show again so initial bullet will be spawned see initial couple of bullets will be spawned and after a while got from pole see so now we don't have to create bullets again okay. oh we have a problem oh. The problem is, see, right, we have to change the location of the bullets. So for that, yes, because when we spawn the bullet, we use the location correctly. Uh, in this way, uh, but when we return the bullet from the pool, we don't really set that. So set location and rotation this 
using similar values as we use when spawning. No, should work. Great. So everything is working as intended. And here is the final preview. Okay, so I'm going to stop this episode right here. And thanks for watching. So as always, project files will be available for the download in Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.